find ourselves in the midst of a pandemic, the likes of which we have never seen before. Tonight, we're going to dig a little deeper. Nikdo nic nechápe. Nikdo nás nechápe. Všechno se nám kazí na tom světě. Co všechno? Tak všechno. Na tom světě. Víš co? Když se všechno kazí, tak budeme kažené i my správně vadí. Hey, how's it going? Welcome to my fake house. We're happy to be here today. We've been holed up for just a few days now, which really is kind of typical for us around here. But uh, I just want to tell you a little backstory about what's going to happen in my world here today, live from nowhere. Uh, I live on a property with six musicians who have been self-isolating for the last, uh, or social distancing for the last three days, and we're already quite stir-crazy. So on a whim, I decided that when Live From Nowhere was announced that I would try to stake my claim on a small portion, which we will informally tonight name uh, From Dawn Till Dusk uh, with Nikki Lane and friends. And so this is what happens when you convince six people to do uh, a creative piece together at a distance in exchange for bartering. Uh, to, for starters, I'm taking coffee to drop off to Johnny Keys because he doesn't want to leave his room, but he does want to participate. So we're going to try to do that all day long. I think it's going to go great. We've been working on a lot of things here, like crafts, like this stoner advent calendar, which I have made. As you can see, I'm willing to go exactly two weeks before things get desperate. And uh, I'm gonna show you how to make one of those later today, but we're gonna start things off with a song. And so I was thinking, since we're all caught up and we're here with Johnny's studio, which you'll see, um, we were gonna make some music. So I was like, okay, I'll pick out a new song. And so I started digging through things and looking at lyrics and looking at the vibe and then I was like, oh shit, I know exactly what to do. Um, two years ago, uh, we had Tony Joe White out here for the hideout, the party that we throw, and we invited Tony Joe. We were like, maybe we could get him to come out here. And so part of like trying to work up the courage to like, well, I guess the courage, but just like to get him to want to play our festival was that I went down there and co-wrote with him. And it was really fun. It was like, riding around with my granddad like he let me hop in the passenger seat of the truck and he took me down to puckets and we ate some fried catfish and i was grinning ear to ear and then we went back and we wrote this song and for me like this is like the life motto right like i, I run the indie world that's what the luck family is about so um that means you've got to keep chugging right so i wrote this song i asked him if he'd write it with me and that day we wrote ain't waiting on luck and so that's what Matt Beiser and the guys did. Like they, you know, put so much hard work, even the person that's holding this camera right now, put so much hard work into putting the love banquet or the love reunion on that, you know, we were really expecting to throw this big giant party. I was gonna try to decorate dressing rooms just to get passes and hang out. But, <laughs> you know, cause I wanna be there every year. And so anyways, we were like, let's see what we can put together. And so Ain't Waiting on Luck is literally about not waiting around on you know, the opportunity to spend our evening with you on the Thursday of South by Southwest, like we've done every fucking year. So anyways, I'm gonna go around, I'm gonna see if I can round up a band, and we're gonna get to business. So, let's go. Check your eggs, great deep dive. Let's just see how good we have it. Thank you. 
You guys are ready? Johnny, you good in there? Josh? You gotta get up and go. You gotta do so do. Oh, you don't need a ticket if you're playing the show. You got a one night stand. You want a real romance? Well, that ain't the kind of thing you should be leaving to chance. When life gets hard, you just have enough. Go on and fire up the truck, cause I ain't waiting on love. trying to get my chocolate rationed. Well, spring is here, guys, so my favorite mini eggs. I was always trying to figure out how to ration these things in the first place, and uh, they're suggesting we be able to hold up for 14 days, and so I gotta stretch this to make it all the way through, and so um, we decided we'd make a little toilet paper advent calendar to, um, to try to see if we can help us, you know, put away our goods for a little amount of time, so here we go. I'll show you how it works. Um, so the way we're gonna do this is, uh, I've already done it, so I'm gonna fake do it. I'm gonna take my toilet roll out of here. Look at that, it's wonderful. Or it's gonna work just as well. And uh, I'm gonna compile 14 of these because that's as far as I'm willing to take it. And then I'm gonna take individual sheets here and my little stencil, which you may or may not have, and I'm going to label out my days of the calendar. And then once we get them to, you know, all ready to go, we're gonna kinda, and just, you know, let's see here, nook. Maybe I'll hide this last one for myself. 
So um, I've assembled all of, uh, most of these, because I'll show you how to do it, but I've assembled most of these to kind of put together. And uh, I, I made a little layout for a house. Um, so I went ahead and I cut a piece of cardboard backing uh, to fit my shape. Uh, I'm hoping that this is only going to take um, 14 days. So that's all I'm making, that's all I'm working on. So we're gonna have to just figure it out, you know, start growing our own, whatever, you know, just kidding. But whatever it's gonna take to get us through, you know, staying indoors and, and what we each need to feel good. Finishing it up. So uh, I hope you've enjoyed your evening with us uh, and that we all are going to have our own stoner advent calendars to get us through uh, this time together. That's what a day in the life down here looks like. Uh, man, it was so great. I hope that you enjoy the show tonight. I think it's going to be incredible. I can't wait to see Willie Nelson and Paul Simon and Nathaniel Rateliff and Lucas and all the people that I hope I would have seen tonight anyhow. Uh, be sure to follow the link to tip, you know, I think that I'm gonna definitely use my portion of the tip to pay for these knuckleheads that helped me put this thing together today because we've all got a long road ahead of us, but uh, I know that we're doing the right thing by taking care of ourselves in order to take care of each other. Uh, so I guess that's about it. Uh, thank you to the Luck family. This is Nikki Lang signing out from nowhere. I'm going to crack off my first day of Stoner Advent Calendar here because I deserve it. And, uh, yeah, it's just not so bad right now. Let's see. Stay healthy out there. <laughs>